Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough through Supreme Jerk, aka the hardest difficulty. And it's gonna be fun. I promise you this game has a lot uh, to offer because so far I'm absolutely hyped. It is a very, very addictive game. And we've just uh, helped the sheriff here. Although my little one sees that differently, but I can promise you we did a good deed. Let's go back to downtown Colorado Springs and see what we do have in store. It's going to be fun. I also noticed that you can reskill uh, random character uh, or existing characters. Never shot anybody before today, and now I've gone and shot my boyfriend. I mean. My ex-boyfriend ex in more ways than one, I suppose. Oh, God. I killed him. I really killed him. I can't believe he's dead. I can't. Don't blame yourself. We were the ones who told you to shoot him. Uh, or, yeah, now that's... Mm, no, you got justice for your family. Isn't that what you wanted? Okay. Mission successful. Someone was hungry. Back. Lucia Wilson, you get justice for your family. Isn't that what you wanted? I... I did, but... Was this it? Was Isaac who I should have shot? I... I need to find the people who steered Isaac wrong. The people who were really responsible. Neelius, Dorsey, and Liberty Buchanan. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Hmm, that sounds good. Yes, we'll help you. In return, you follow orders like a ranger. Of course. We should go after Neelius Dorse. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect. And he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was gonna follow orders, not <laughs> give them. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. Well... If we could re-skill Lucia, that would not be too bad. I mean, her cold is really good so far. I like it. But we need someone with uh, mechanical expertise. You, Troy! Those old people are looking at... It's okay, Brandy. I get lost, you perv. Wait a minute. You're old, right? Can you get us some beers? Those stupid Mary <laughs> Milk Teeth won't sell us any. Too young, she says. Let's wrap fellow youth. Drinking and drugs ain't cool, okay? Stay in Holy school. shit. Can you be any more lame? Shut up. Just... Ew. Uh, is there anything good coming out of this? I don't think so. And I don't want to see the world burn, so no. Sorry, get your own. Yes, this is Corporal Gonzalez at Ranger Command. Who am I speaking with? This is Rosie Wong at the Sands Lux apartment. The tap water's brown again. Uh, that's not really our department, Ms. Wong. Can I, uh... Then you go arrest whose department it is! I'm trying to run a business here. My tenants have a right to clean water. Look, Martha. It's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts, hardly a crossword between us. What can you tell us about your shop? Clothes and adornments for the hundred. Of course, we sell to regular folks too. Plenty of less expensive items in stock. Repurposed or restored garments, mostly. Nice. All right, so we're selling our junk. We're at 540, which is good. I don't think that we need more armor at this point. Pretty sure we're going to uh, be okay. Let's first of all talk to the sheriff, and then I wanted to buy some new guns. Okay, so these guys are frozen to the death. Oh, 
Still says point of interest here, pillar square, but might be wrong. All right, let's say, see what the sheriff has to say. I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. No more Dorsies in my city, and everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. Some of my marshals weren't too sure about you, but I see now that they were dead wrong. Nice. Old Saul always knows best. We're all on the same side, right? Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that pleasure's mine, Rangers? Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Oh, nice. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Nice. Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Fantastic. Welcome aboard, Hope. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Apparently they had help from Farron Brigo's gang. No, Isaac Reed confessed that he helped them, but it was Farron Brigo's gang who let them well, in. Since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brigo. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved. So I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Mm -hmm. Haven't heard back from him, though. And I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on Okay, him? we're doing that. And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. We're on it. Take down Brigo for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the rock. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family always a pleasure, Rangers. Good. Look at that. Um, we are almost leveled up here, but Hogbite almost isn't quite there yet. We got a couple of attribute points for the rest, though. Let's uh, start with Lucia here. She could use some more awareness, of course, and some more intelligence. If we want to keep her, then um, we need to retrain her for sure. A bit more intelligence for now, just so that we're going to give her more skill points. So which of the skills do we not have covered yet? I mean, it's great that she has survival and so on and so forth, but what do we really need? So we got explosives, we got sneak. We do not have weird signs yet, so that might be a real opportunity for her. Lockpicking we got, mechanics we got, nerd stuff. We don't have that yet. So weird signs. D generally, the last two people that we need. Uh, imagine we're getting rid of Marshall Kwon and of her, theoretically, or reskilling them. What we need is uh, we already have someone for explosives. Animal Whisperer is fine. What we need is weird signs, because that seems to give you access to quite a few interesting weapons. Uh, and mechanic, so that's two skills, the whole nerd stuff, toaster repair, and if possible, survival, because apparently that allows you to bypass a couple of um, a couple of encounters. So generally speaking, I think she definitely needs a reskill because we already have weapon modding, uh, and we have barter on other characters, so we don't need to double down on that. But what we could give her for now is weird signs. 
And we can either increase the survival to three or we're doing nerd stuff. Now we can let uh, Quan do the nerd stuff and the mechanics, which means she's all about survival and weird science. Fair enough. Looks decent to me. She doesn't have a perk, um, but we can give her that new gun. The ferret, uh, frozen ferret launcher. That might be an interesting gun. And we do have a couple of usable items as well, right? Yeah, we had those shrink grenades. Throw to bring someone down a pack. Okay, apparently it shrinks them. All right, central. Central has an attribute and we figured out he needs more coordination instead of charisma so that we can get that uh, can get to 8 AP. So that's important. Cool. In terms of skill points, automatic weapons are good and we could use improvements in either of the other categories. So let's go with automatic uh, weapons. And now the question is we want to increase leadership or do we just increase I mean we could go kiss ass because that is opening a lot of uh, great conversation options hard ass also isn't bad could make the argument since we already have kiss ass on effectively four might as well go with hard ass right yeah okay sounds like a good idea I like how the character is turning out. As for you, Ramos, a uh, very good character so far. I like what I'm seeing. Could use some more awareness to uh, just hit better before then going deeper into coordination. So sure, let's do that. Ramos, very focused on big guns. Let's see, Does do the big guns have a nice little perk? If you hunker down, even a heavy MG can be tamed. Gain 20% evasion and 10% hit chance in low cover using a heavy machine gun. That's really good. So I would want to go for big guns. Lock picking, on the other hand, is very good as well. And explosives is incredibly helpful because it allows us to disable traps. And since he's the explosive guy, and the lock picking guy that has priority for now. He already deals a lot of damage. Okay. Listen, the group seems like they are getting their rhythm slowly but surely. Lots of martial deputies. And there's a coffee maker. Good, let's see if we can finally get in here. Oh yeah, pick lock, see? That's why we wanted to get that upgraded. Uh, that's a tape, a nice little explosive item, I like that. An auto shotgun. Oh, nice. A little bit of armor modification.
Very nice, or not so nice, poor fellow. Got the treatment he deserved after killing so many. It's definitely a violent game. Level 5 chest armor. Okay, well. So now that we've figured out that, and I think our weapons are more or less figured out as well. Ammunition is okay. Let's see. We do have a couple of usable items. I just want to see. Plus 10 crit chance. But then a lot of uh, minus to hit chance afterwards. Why wouldn't we just try that on our sniper? Seems like a good idea. So we do have the same here with um, the alcohol. What else? We had another item here. Brandy candy, uh, plus 5 perception and 15% strike uh, rate for a lot of turns and then minus evasion. Okay. What exactly does that do? 15 to 25% damage. Could be toxic, yeah? Potentially deals 15% damage. We're not going to eat the yellow snowball. That's the burning cocktail. Uh, we already have that. Got a bit more explosives for him. No, I think we're good. Just double checking what we have uh, found. So there are still a few items left over, or places rather, left over that we couldn't uh, figure out. For instance, the uh, museum. And then we wanted to go to the nightclub anyways. How much money do we have? 500? Yeah, not good enough. I mean, for now, we can still... You have to get someone here and stop this thumping. Well, it's not so much a thumping as a... Kind of like a... Rawr, rawr. Oh, no, no, actually, it's more like a... Rawr, rawr. Uh, Ms. Wong, I, I have another call. If you can just hang on. Good loot. More loot. Crafting component. Money. Lots of money. Lots of ammunition. Very good. So we got a laser weapon here. Unfortunately, I think it is a bit too low level for what we're trying to do. It requires level 4 weird science. Hmm. Okay. But we also got a new sniper rifle with way more damage. So... Can we take that out? Field strip. What does field strip do? No. Want to field strip this weapon? I don't know what that does. Maybe you just can't get these things out anymore.
Hmm. None of these weapons are modified, right? No. I just want to find a modified weapon. So that I can figure out what that field strip does. It might just turn it into parts. Hmm. could equip it as a secondary weapon but I think the shotgun is better for us for now really get something out of it. I'll try field strip once. Uh, it happened exactly what I thought uh, would happen. We completely field stripped it, but on the other hand, we can uh, craft a couple of things. Brady and Troy, a love story of dueling diaries. Didn't we have dog shit? Oh, because we sold it. Well. Good. What else can we craft? Frag grenades, Molotov cocktails, <laughs> yellow snow bombs. <laughs> Okay. Designed to collapse into fairly compact form. Fair enough. We can get repair kits, which we don't really need. But we can also get weapon modifications. So. For instance, this here needs a reflex scope, though. And I think we don't have we don't have the standard items. It's interesting that you can make weapon modifications, but you don't have the standard items. So I cannot create a single one of these items yet. Targeting sensitive, but helps for rapid battlefield assessment. Let's just try that. And let's try that as well. Okay, cool. We created two things. I want to make sure that we're not overdoing it. Uh, in terms of mods, we do have Con plus 15, that is perfect for someone who needs crit resistance, like our tank for instance. No. Okay, so you cannot get the old ones back. Armor tour uh, doesn't look too bad. Who has poor armor? Already got that one modified. Already got that one modified as well. Yeah, our sniper takes uh, that one. There you go. Media damage bonus, range damage bonus. 
fantastic. We got to confirm that. Good, fantastic. Very good. Unfortunately, you can't get other modifications back, but you can get almost all of the other stuff modified. And from what I'm seeing, modified armors really make a difference. Good, so that now that that problem is solved, we have pretty much cleared out the museum. And we can now go into the nightclub. Right. Let's go. Unbelievable. The world is falling apart and these guys still have time for gambling. We certainly don't have time for gambling. Good old Pit was here. Party, stay out of the rooms behind the bar. No more gambling for me. He said I should let you guys through. But don't even think about messing with that computer behind you. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. What's so special about that computer? That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken. And there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. What kind of trouble? Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my coats for rent. Okay. Well, maybe if a fight broke out, I would. But nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place. Uh, you're not gonna say I said any of this, are you? This guy doesn't have a filter. He just blabs it all out. The man greets you with a smile. But as I dart about, never staying focused on your faces, he has a collection of pins and medals stewed across his chest. Ah, it's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Nose. Farron Brigo's capo, leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Tell us about the Battle of Two Buttes. Ah, a tactical masterstroke by yours truly. Imagine two round buttes with a narrow gorge between them. Got that picture in your mind? We lured our enemies into the gorge, then squeezed them from both sides, crushing them between the buttes. A real shitstorm, that's what it was. I'm quite sure there was never a Battle of Two Buttes, Mr. Nose. Sounds like a story you concocted while sitting in the outhouse. Oh, you wouldn't say that if you've been there. I'll never forget the groans, the plops of the fallen, the terrible smell. What is St. Elmo? Not surprised you haven't heard of it. St. Elmo was lost to a fire years ago, sadly. But it was a thriving town before then. Thanks to old Charlie. Yep. Don't listen to a word old Charlie says, Rangers. 
He's the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. <laughs> Says the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. You got a lot of titles, eh? All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? We're looking for a man named uh, Delgado. Delgado? What? Come on, Charlie. You remember Delgado. Nice guy, family man. Way too good for the trash in this place. No way you could miss him. Oh, not like you, Marshal. You blend right in with the rest of us. Sorry. Haven't seen him. Old Charlie would tell you if he had. What's your job around here? Poor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained. And that they don't wander into the back rooms. Can you let us into the back rooms? Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case? No. Jokes aside, Mr. Brago doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. And we take Mr. Brago's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him, not me. What can you tell us about Little Vegas? Ah, Mr. Brigo's pride and joy. Our pride and joy. He founded this club after coming here from Vegas. Apparently, it emulates the style of... Till next time, Red Hats. Alright, what does the bartender have to offer... Got any juicy gossips to share? Farm, Mr. Brigo's organization. So, nope. All the best vices Colorado has to offer. Uh, we do not own these. Where do I see the price? Okay, ten dollars apparently. Eight dollars for coffin nails. 20 bucks for Wubass. 16. Yeah, bar prices are higher than normal prices. Not surprising. Alcohol's nice, but it's the company that makes this all work. Elf! Yeah! What are you rents doing in here? This is a private party. Who are you? None of your fucking business. Now they're mercs. Happened to be in town when the Dorsey's attacked, so we paid him to help us out. Nice to see him putting the Patriarch's money to good use. What are you celebrating? Spending Colorado Springs and beating those toothless shit kicker Dorsey's to a bloody paste. Local 168, let me hear you! Woo! <laughs> All right, soldiers through and through. We're looking for a man named Delgado, a marshal. Yeah? Well, you picked the wrong room. Ain't no Delgado here, and no marshals neither. Do we want to pick a fight with them? No, we're playing the nice party. No, no, you ain't getting off that easy. The local 168 don't like being spied on. We're talking to pissant little runts like you. Well, now he fucked it up himself. What we do like is fighting. And that's what this party's been missing. So let's go, Runtz. It's time to dance. We don't want to fight. We kill. So don't get started with something that you don't... Uh, if you don't want to end in the graveyard. Hmm. That's a pretty convincing uh, story. Let's do that. Now, hold on. We was looking for a throwdown, not a gun down. We don't get in killing fights. Unless somebody's paying. Uh, what was it you wanted again? Maybe we can help you out. We're looking for a marshal named Delgado. Yeah, we saw him. That Charlie Nose fella? Dragged him into the back rooms behind the bar. What is local 168? It used to be a union. Scrap Miners Local Number 168. Organized when we was working the yard in Steel Town. They were shit. Conditions were brutal. Hours were criminal. So we unionized. 
Smart, right? Not so much. Boss Markham sacked us and hired a bunch of refugees to take our jobs. So we had to find a new way to make coin. Decided we could use our muscles for fighting just as well as mining. And reformed as a mercenary company. Local 168. Best there is, if you can afford union rates. Alright, we're done. We got drinking to do. Local 168! Ah, uh, we're needing six lockpick. Dang it. Good. That's where all of the prostitutes are. Not that we're interested in that, but maybe there is some loot in here. Oh, Quan, it's you. Yeah. Hi, Ten. Good. Good to see you. Quan, you have a lot of explaining to do. I'm uh, kind of on duty. Maybe uh, some, some other time. Quan, <laughs> <laughs> you little ladies, man. Yeah, unless you all want to take a break for a while. Go on, Quan. We'll show ourselves out. You, see, you two seem to be old friends. Friends? <laughs> I uh, hope we are. Of course we are, Quan. You are my dearest friend. My island of peace. While she's laying there naked. I still have to pay you, though. How real a friendship is that? It's as real as it can be. More real than it should be. You say that. But do you mean it? Let me prove it to you. Uh, are we going to give him a good time? You know what? The man has a point. Really? That. Thank you so much. Uh, you might want to get yourselves a drink or play some blackjack. I'm going to be a one ten. I oh, Quan. It's been so long. <laughs> Quan. I, I wish I'd met you before. All this. I'll miss you. All right, Marshal Quan. Has 10% critical chance increased. Because he just scored an ace in the hole. That's right. Hey, good looking. Ditch the cash up front. I may be easy, but I ain't cheap. You'll be back. Right here, gorgeous. Right you here. You look so cute, all tied up. Level one chest armor. Okay. Well, listen, I mean, some of the armor is at least worth something. Price 300, right? So, can't fault anyone for that. And Quan, after you went all out, I think that... <laughs> okay, wait a second. <laughs> See, just having two dildos left and right. <laughs> Oh, Quan, what has happened with you, man? <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> that game is awesome. Okay. What's the suffix? Oh, okay, no. Although the <laughs> double dildo helmet is not too bad. I mean, it gives two penetration. You gotta just stick with it. All right, Quan. This is too good. Oh, sweetie. 
Everyone has nerves their first time. I know, I know how to do it. I just don't feel like it right now. Hey, hey, who the hell are you guys? Uh, sorry to bust yeah, in, did well, we interrupt? I was just leaving. Thanks, Apes. Yes. Um. Keep it up. Practice makes perfect. Uh, do we give him drugs? No. Does that work? I I have been tired lately, focused on uh, work. All right. Thanks. Look at you, big boy. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> let's try again. Yeah. So yeah. apparently, we're helping people to just yeah, perform better. Oh wow. So much better than a warm apple pie. <laughs> you guys are all right in my book. Uh, anything I can. Do you know a way we can get leverage on Ferran Brigo? Uh, maybe. I'm actually Call to, to the computer. The computer. <laughs> as long as you. Thanks again, Rain. Come back anytime, Benji. No. <laughs> For small I'll show you things you had no idea you want. That's a shame. No, thank you. No sloppy seconds for us. Hail to the king, baby. Time to get sweaty. You ready? Let's do this. No way, there is a goat here. Oh, hi. Aren't you a sexy little thing? This, uh, this is my first time. So, how do we do this? Do I just... Oh! Whoa, okay. J j take it off? I... Uh, on my knees? Oh boy, whoever thought of that part of the game was a mastermind, that double dildo helmet is fabulous. Ah, hilarious. Good joy. Alright, sometimes you just gotta get uh, with the program, eh? We have a couple of crafting components, so can we modify this weapon a bit further? No, we cannot. White choke, okay. Nope, nothing. Fair enough. So gaudy. So ostentatious. Good, we do have the code to the computer. Welcome to my club. Ah, Rangers, what a pleasure. I heard you were in town. It must be, what, 20 years since we crossed paths. Uh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Barbara's and the dead and the rest helped me save the place. And I hear we have you to thank for Cassidy's fine clothes be back in business. And I thank you. If not for Cassidy's, we'd have to settle for second-rate suits from the bazaar. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brigo. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of the town we lost. Perfect, isn't it? You know Angela Death and uh, General Vargas? Have heard the story? Hey. No, we heard the story, that's fine. Later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But, you know all about that. They attacked you too. Anyway, that shared history 
makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Good, thanks. You've given the club a lot of class. I'm glad you think so. You should have seen it five years ago. Nothing here but the walls, and half of them were falling down. We really worked hard to get where it is today. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. We owe him and his team a lot. Sorry to say, Vargas is dead, but his sacrifice saved all of Arizona. Damn. I'd heard rumors, but... Well, I'm not surprised that's the way he went out. A hero to the end. Thank you for telling me. I'll raise a glass in his honor tonight. Now, what can I do for you? We're helping the marshals with an investigation. You can answer us some questions. Certainly. Ask away. You're a connected guy. Do you know anything about uh, who let the Dorseys into the city? What? I don't want those kind of connections. Murder in the streets is bad for business. If I were you, I'd be looking for someone with a grudge against a patriot. Not exactly a short list, I know, but... Uh, we got good information that Delgado is being held in your back rooms. Good information? That's better information than I have there. Nobody told me nothing, but I'm sorry. I can't let you go back there. My property, my rules. And if you try it without my permission, my capos will defend my property by all means necessary. Understand me? Let's talk about what something else. Shame. Nothing I like more than a good grilling. What's behind what the else? painting? Ah, uh, yes. Had that painted for my office. Before the, robots. the painting was a commission before the robots came. That's 20 years ago. How is it you don't look a day older? Thank you, Rangers. That's very flat. But really, it's not so much that I have an age, but more that the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado. Right Why did you move to Colorado? 15 years after the Rangers saved us, the robots came. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, as to why we came to Colorado, well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we backed up our good luck. Welcome back to Little Vegas, Rangers. Uh, the customers good luck good we need to get uh, into that back room not good feet hurt uh, tell me about it killing me I am so, so only thing that we need you is know. someone who starts a fight and that's not us somebody to start something either that or get us some check no funny business around mr brigo did we go to school cuz i think we had hey where's Polly? Private parts here might be. Hey, you pallies. Try your hand at a game of luck and skill. Roulette's the name. Drop a bet on the table. No stomach for it, eh? This guy here looks like he's causing trouble. What's the problem? I went upstairs to get my sh sh shit out of the safe, but b b Boulder and his mercs took my pants and kicked me out before I could get it. No fucking way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash or I'm dead. Can you help me? You're asking us to help you to get drugs? Not my drugs. Other people's. What? Mostly. Why are you dead without the I stash? Where's the shit of yours exactly? Up, 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 up upstairs in the private room. Just watch out for golden. I love you, man. 
Good, we discussed that before, so maybe uh, we can get that and um, he can help us afterwards. Want to get into that safe? Laser weapon requires mechanics. Uh, interesting. Fire to restore con can be used on mechanical targets. Okay, so mechanical targets can be healed. Um, who got mechanics? Explosives. Our oh, dildo wearing uh, Mr. Quan. Still got some on my shoes. Hell yeah! Uh, okay, in the meantime, our sniper just got a level. I just didn't uh, realize that. Alright, let's get awareness back uh, further up. I like it. And whilst we're at it, Small Arm 7 is finally here. Sniper rifles will follow. We have no medic, no real medic. That's also something that we need to cover somehow. Um, So, first aid, anyone? No one really. Local 168, boo yeah! So maybe Murphy becomes uh, the guy that also does have uh, first aid. It's a bit weird to have the sniper be the healer, but if you think about it, maybe not, because he will very likely not take a lot of damage. <laughs> Still got some on my shoes. Any luck? Do you have my five rhino and five focus? Yep, here you Thank go. You. you saved my life, but it's just a little that it evened me out. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Shakes, my dude. We needed you. Huh. Oh, man, I love dancing at this place. It's the best. Can the disco bot be manipulated? Present my plan. Party you. Join party time. Oh, you've never been? You simply rivals in his life. Do you want to pay for it? Hello again, red hats. We know you took their gargoyle into the backgrounds. We need to get in there. Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats? But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that is through a hail of bullets. Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. What's in this for you? The way I see it, everybody wins. You get your culprit, and we don't get in trouble with the law. Once you clear Mr. Brigo's name, I'm sure he'll release Delgado. Tell us where to find that guy. Man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal. Yeah. Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. You see this silver ram metal? You like it? It's my favorite bag. The Patriarch himself. Until next time, Red Hats. Oh, you man, I love dancing in this place. It's the best. But I heard of it. All right, let's go and get uh, to that guy who apparently was the culprit all along.
In exchange, I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are unusual circumstances, and Colorado Springs' future hangs in the metaphorical balance. I wouldn't be asking for such an exchange if I wasn't desperate. I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights, and I'll tell the marshals to let you through. Okay, uh, unwelcome guests, Broadmoor Heights, okay. Map, well we're not in Broadmoor Heights, we're in Colorado Springs. So apparently that's then in a different area. So as far as I'm concerned, the whole machine guys were over here. You ever hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. <laughs> um. Anyway, this station is nice enough, but Hold on, convoy life is better. Aren't you a sight? Next week. Good. I go. thought it was one of these guys. Mama Cotta. Not whom we're looking for. Uh, hello again. Here to learn more about the Colorado Springs Wall. Believe me, I understand. Okay, wait. So. Charles knows one of Brigo's capos guarding the door. Does seem he let us go? Okay. Confront Mactavish at the machine shop in downtown. According to Charles Knowles, the real traitor is one of Brigo's thugs. Again, a guy named Mactavish. You will find Mactavish at the machine shop near Pillow Square. Okay. Uh, garage. Pillow Square. Okay. Well, all we need to go uh, do is go to Pillow Square then. Maybe I'll... I like it that there are other ways of just solving things other than continuously killing every single one of them. So, Mac something. Machine shop. Can't be that difficult to find, right? Did you read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, we have plenty of cartoon in there. When Jeffy ripped the robo arm off that scar collector and <laughs> cracked it. I was gonna ask about the articles, but uh, never mind. What's his name again? Da -da -da, a guy named Mac Tavish. Drunk, citizen, Marshall, Marshall Torres. Is that Mac Tavish? No. Nice Unlikely. What can I do for you, Rangers? If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a to form. Recruit enough new marshals to replace the ones we lost. Yeah. Good. Near that area, we find Meg Tavish. <laughs> Repairs made. So that apparently is the store. Leave area. Okay, that's well, the machine shop. We just never have been in there. I thought completely wrongly that you could just leave the area, but no, no, no. Uh, that is another area, just like 
the Las Vegas store. Uh, yeah, that does not look like it's gonna go down easy. Explosive barrels. <laughs> okay, listen, we're going to split up. Sniper over here. This time the marshal sent substitutes to shake us down. Well, you stand-ins get one warning. Fuck we just off. want to We're talk to McTavish. Up. Yeah? Well, McTavish doesn't want to talk to you. And you don't want to one warning. Fuck Complete up. shocker, right? I believe no one... No one here would have thought that this is going to escalate into a shootout. No one. They just blew themselves up. Unbelievable. Mechanics. Uh, so the guy with the mechanics is actually over here, Marshal Kwon. And we could easily disable that. Uh, which means it's a one-shot kill for the sentry. Before we do that though... 55%, what are our odds to hit anyone? I think we're just gonna go with you. Good chance of killing you. There we go. And that allows Murphy to move back into cover. Oh, uh, we've forgotten to reload beforehand. Fair enough. We'll do that until the next time. For now, nice little shot. And that's a beautiful kill into potentially moving into cover. Central. I would like to explode you guys back there. Moves to here. Deals some damage to all of them, but mainly suppresses them. The some damage, however, is good. Some damage to three people is effectively really, really good. We're definitely going to... Take that one out. Fantastic. Listen, we could move up here. That's a kill. And we're slowly but surely moving over. Lucia moves there. Oh, 
Oh! You can just throw out a robot? That's cute. Alright, moving up. Mm, nice hit, I like it. Getting a little sucker punch. Oh, that guy is almost down. Fantastic. Into the hat. And we could do a snapshot. Central moves up. And does continue to hit uh, the head of this guy. Decent damage, not extraordinarily good, but okay. We're moving into a better position where we can flank the cover. Before Ramos moves even further. Murphy. Kills and then just heals themselves fair enough and we're going to flank this guy nicely from behind and I think we're just going to shoot him. Our animals are doing a lot of work. I like it. Yeah, complete surprise. That this did not go the peaceful route. Dog here. Junk. Ammunition and crafting. Ammunition and crafting. We got a nice little shotgun here. Level 5 shotgun. More crafting. That's not too bad. More junk. More ammo. More crafting. I think that was okay. Oh, fantastic. A beer pong helm. Good, more ammunition. Ammo is plenty in this game, which I like. I, at the beginning I was a bit skeptical that we're seeing another Jack the Lions 3, where ammo is basically being used as a balancing factor. But there is plenty, and I like it. So... In terms of just healing herself, I think one point in in first aid is effectively almost mandatory because this becomes ridiculous. You always need to swish that around in order to then 
use stuff on herself. Good, fair enough. Now, in terms of armor, what do we have? Level f uh, 6 armor. Sounds like something. 6 armor there, 4 armor there. 4 armor, 4 armor. The helmet is too good. Too bad we're going to get mechanic, uh, giving him the mechanic's helmet now. Uh, because with more mechanics, he. That, that's actually helpful for him. Hmm. The penetration helmet. Everybody else has a better helmet, but. I'm going to keep this one. Attention horse phallus chapeau. That's uh, one hell of a name. More awareness and we're good. Giving him a little bit more me uh, mechanics. In terms of perks, he has the punctuating shot, which I think was very good. I like that. Uh, the lesser benefit from cover, the passive one, that is fantastic. So I think we're just going to purchase that. Cool. Good stuff. Come on, McTavish. Don't make us break down the store. Survived the dirty ambush, you killed Isaac Reed and his rich kid pal, your body ruthless. Bollocks, I'm screwed. Indeed, you are. You seem to know about what happened to us. Did you help set us up? Ah. No, I don't know. He had I just, uh, I just heard about it. Oh, okay. We have information that you've been working for the Dorseys. Ah. Don't talk, Pash. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Leave me alone. Don't you know? I'm under Farm Brago's protection. You can't touch me, pal. Really? So if we shoot you, Brag's gonna jump out of nowhere and stop the bullets? Um. And we're under Patriarch's protection. Brago wouldn't dare to touch us no matter what we do. You? The Patriarch? But. Ah, what a load of shit. This ain't fair. Everybody shuts on me, everybody. Okay, okay. Looks like you got me at a disadvantage, so let's make a deal, eh? You push flaps drop me enough to skip to and I'll tell you what I can. Uh you either talk to us or we're taking you to the marshals. Your choice. Ah, damn it, hell. I'm not going back to the stocks, no way. Fine, I'll spill your muggy desert trap. Okay, yeah. I let the doses in the city. And I'm glad I did. Least I can do after the patriarch put me in the pillories. I so throws my bloody face off. I got a clear where my nose should be. Of course I wanted some revenge. Wouldn't you? So to get revenge to the Pakyard, you let the Dorises pillage the town and murder dozens of innocent civilians? I didn't know that's what they were gonna do. I just thought they were gonna kill Buchanan. Did Brigo have anything to do with Dorses' attack? No, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Bragg would not have done with us nothing. Okay, we heard enough. 
Well, folks, what you did? Custody, you hoors. Didn't I tell you why you had to know? You fucking lobbing a lot of same. Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. We've arrested McTavish. Dispatch uh, Ranger team to bring him in. Copy that, Team November. Arrest team from HQ is en route. All right, let's get some more loot, a bit of ammo here, medicals, locker. Permanently increases mechanics. Ooh. Well, the name's McTavish, and I'm from Glasgow. Shit. That's not it. A lick. Me. Bobag. Sod. Aff. You wee. Cunt. Come on, boil your heat, you jammy kid. Hey, you've a face like a scalp purse, you dumb arm. Aye, that'll do. Alright. We're leaving the area going to get our big fat reward i want to get back to the new vegas uh, area because i think we can be left into the back room and we still have leverage against brygos with the code of the computer so there is something uh, there team november come in let's team november go ahead yeah i got ms wong the manager at the sands lux apartments on the line this one might actually be something. Says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs. Shush, shush, shush. Let me talk to them. Uh. He's the weirdo in apartment three. He's gonna kill us all. There's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room. And he's not alone. He's got friends in there. They're planning something. We'll be right over there, ma'am. Come to the Sands Lux apartment. Uh, so huh? What do you mean by sorry? All right, so there is another small quest, but that is for the next episode. Now, for now, let's uh, get the uh, New Vegas stuff done. Good, let's go in there. I still want to see what Brygo has to offer once we are setting up that computer. Who knows, that might be coming in handy. None of your business, we're going to talk to oh, Brygo. Oh, right, yeah. Fair enough. He should be the guy you talk to anyway. If you got good news. So, uh, what did you do to that poor bastard McTavish? Why don't you look and find that out Why to yourself? Why you like that to your good pal, Charlie? All right, all right. You should go on upstairs and talk to Mr. See you later, Red Hat. Okay, wait, they, these guys are fighting? What do you want? Can't you see we're busy yelling at each other? You're the one yelling, and if you don't stop, they're going to kick us out. All right, that's what we were looking for. Welcome. Would you like the system to set the fan will turn out and uh, heat will rise to the max? Okay, we do have leverage. Can't lockpick that. 
But he will let us in because we will tell him that elsewise his club is burning down. How do you know what uh, McTavish told us? We found a note uh, from you to McTavish ordering him to help the Dorseys. It means you knew the plan. Wonder what uh, Daisy would do with that information. I think we're just arresting him. Farm Brigo has surrendered to us and a squad to lock him down Copy in HQ. That. Congratulations, November 1. That's a mighty big fish you brought in. Over. Fantastic. So, what is behind that portrait? I'm sure there is something behind it. Are you going to come quietly? Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Okay, so normally this would You're have been a fight, right? What's to you, I wish I were Just a DNA hell wait. case. So I could get what's, what's coming, coming to you, Rangers. Opening the back here. I know some marshals who could benefit from these. Okay, this again looks like we're just looking for trouble. Sniper. Crouching down. You know what? Sniper just positions himself here. Okay. Hmm. Everybody's crouched. Uh, central crouches. Okay, Quan. Quan, my dude. How about you're just healing yourself up because this to me looks like. Something is going to go down soon. Fabulous. Hey, hands off the merchandise. The fuck's the matter with you? Don't touch. I ain't gonna want you again. Good. Who was the lock picking guy again? I think it was Ramos. Lots of drugs, lots of ammo, a locker with uh, some food that should be okay. Pretty sure this is going to be a fight in some shape or form. Can't believe nothing has happened yet. You know what? 
you rangers fuck you for arresting Mr. Brico. <laughs> Wanna stop, drop, and roll with me? Mm, smell that? They've been making. That's it. You're dead. All right. This is where we are going to nicely do a cliffhanger because that's going to be a long fight. And we're going to continue that right in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, that episode. We got a lot done. We got a lot done. And uh, we got ourselves also, of course, into a massive shootout. Wasteland 3 is great. It's just a pleasure to play this game. Uh, if you enjoy it just as much as I do, leave me a comment down below or I promise you I will uh, send uh, the ten of spades to your house that was one of the male prostitutes and he'll have a little chat with you. Thanks a lot, see you next time and have a good one. Bye bye.